Today, I want to get into John Cook sharing some news recently, sort of, and how funny it is. I want to get into people saying that a TikToker hurt John Cook and then shared him kissing on a hotel balcony. And then we need to talk about a statement that RM just gave to everyone. So, hey, Dumb, this is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your Dumb Blender, it's Hastily Mug Merch, and let's go. RM just gave a huge statement to everyone and people were definitely surprised. But before we get into that, I do have to give a bit of backstory here on everything. There's been many articles and critics talking about how BTS won't come back together. This comes from the ambiguousness of the entertainment industry and the idea that we don't know when they're all enlisting and when they're all coming back. And then of course this idea that the members have pursued solo stuff and probably are having a lot of fun with that. This idea comes a lot from Western media where the artists are taught to kind of look after themselves first and try to make the most out of their own careers. There's a lot of fans who have not only encouraged BTS members to go solo, but have frequently sent hate to everyone who believes that BTS members will come back together. I've seen it with Jungkook and people believing that Jungkook won't come back together. And I don't think that they think Jungkook won't. They just don't want to believe it because they're actually happy that Jungkook is not with BTS right now. The rumors go a bit further than this to say that even if the members wanted to come back together, the fact that they are not in the military right now, it definitely puts a damper on that 2025 date as this year is already coming to an end and they must serve anywhere from a year and a half to two years. However, serving by April or May of 2024 would still ensure that they have enough time to come back and fulfill that 2025 promise. However, RM basically addressed these rumors right away today. He uploaded on his Instagram story a photo of what appeared to be a contract renewal. It says a lot when the literal leader of a group posts something like this. It basically means a comeback will happen. The title of the contract says pop-up culture artist exclusive contract and then RM posted a second story tagging the official BTS Instagram account and then hashtagging ARMY and basically confirming that a comeback will happen around the promised 2025 date. This is definitely supposed to go out to anyone who didn't believe the group would make it and a reassurement that BTS members have kept their promise. All the members not only want to come back together and say those words publicly, but they mean it enough to legally say it and spend time actually reading the contract and signing it. They all know this means that the members won't be able to focus on their own solo activities and means that they will have to go back to a group mentality, which they seem happy to do. This is a very strong statement for RM to post and given that a lot of artists and groups in the past have said the words we love each other and we will come back together but it never happens makes it all the more meaningful that BTS is actually trying to keep their words because they could just have easily gone solo and then just delay the group getting back together or get back together just for their contractual obligations like the 2030 BTS World Expo thing. But instead they are legally saying if we do not become a group we'll have to face some serious legal repercussions. And of course don't get us wrong, people who support the group getting back together are not saying that BTS members individually suck or that they don't like all the members together. We love seeing the boys solo activities and really finding their style and sound. We see it a lot lately and it makes us extremely happy. Jungkook recently decided to show off another skill that we did not know he had. A clip started to resurface and re go viral of Jungkook directing the Butter performance video for Jimmy Fallon. This is the one where they literally shut down a bridge and performed there. They all brought couches and really did such an amazing performance. Jungkook was seen in this resurfaced clip giving direction and giving input on how he wanted the performance video to go. He was giving instructions on where the camera should be and where each member should come in. He was also talking to J-Hope to let him know what dance moves or movement is going to be best for that shot. Being a director is a very difficult job. I think Jungkook does it very well where he is not overwhelming. One of the hardest things to let go and to do as a director is trust your crew. You trust that they will get the shot that you want and trust that even if they don't get that shot, they'll get some equally as good. Now this only works if your crew is actually a professional and would do a good job regardless. So there needs to be a lot of trust like, okay, you were hired just as I was, so I'm gonna trust that you'll get the shot. I've worked on some sets where the director guides the image and says, I would like this, but then the interpretation and whatever comes down to the actor, the cameraman, and everyone else. Of course, there's instances in which it needs to be a certain way, in which case the director can put their foot down 
But the reason they do this is because each person working on set is an artist and has their own style. They were hired for a specific reason and thus let them incorporate the style that you hired them to do. And if it doesn't come out really good, it goes into editing or post-production anyway. So if the director didn't get what they wanted initially, they can kind of cheat it in the edit. So you can very much tell an amateur director versus a more seasoned one based on their ability to trust. If a director is going to a cameraman and saying, hold the camera right on your chest at a 90 degree angle and be exactly five feet away from the talent, that's not a good director. Of course, we can see from the video that Jungkook is a great director and does a wonderful job. I don't entirely know what he is saying, but he does a great job. There's other moments that are more recent where people believe that Jungkook was the creative director too. For a lot of the Vogue photo shoots that Jungkook did, people believe that Jungkook had a lot to say in how those stunning photos came out. And we definitely know that each member had an opportunity to direct and create personalized art when doing their photo folio. Very talented and very skilled. Jungkook is the one who can do it all. Of course, with his very great skills and very good charm, he will come across a lot of backlash. One backlash that he was getting was for allegedly dating someone. This was entirely made up, but of course he still got backlash. Someone made up that he was dating someone and people were upset at the person who made it up because they allegedly did it with the intention of hurting Jungkook, to which I say, how do you know that? Because they literally just thought it was fun to uh, make a story about Jungkook. Not everyone is doing something with the intent to be malicious. It could be, but we don't know. So what happened today? Well, Jungkook was believed to be dating a TikToker or someone who posted something on TikTok. Allegedly, these photos and videos popped up all over everyone's For You page and people were freaking out as it really did appear like Jungkook was dating someone. This alleged TikToker claimed that she was dating Jungkook and when asked for photos, she posted a photo where it appeared her and Jungkook were in a photo booth together and they were having fun. However, the pictures were very blurry and it was clear that the TikToker added this motion blur to blur out any mistakes when photoshopping Jungkook and just to make it appear like it is Jungkook. Of course, the motion blur wasn't something that people used as a marker that the photos are fake because someone who might be dating a celebrity may choose to do a photo blur to hide their own identity. So that part didn't raise any red flags of fakeness. However, it wasn't long after the photo was published and it went viral on TikTok and did people find the actual photo in which Jungkook was edited in from. Of course, with the motion blur, you wouldn't be able to spot an edit mistake, like the color matching or anything that would give it away to be an edit. When people asked her for another photo, the TikToker made another edit showing a girl kissing what appears to be Jungkook on a balcony. However, people then found the original photo and saw that it was just someone with Jungkook's hairstyle, and then the TikToker added in Jungkook's tattoos. So this, of course, makes it seem like it is Jungkook kissing a girl. This, of course, is probably just for entertainment and trolling. However, a lot of people think these people who make up these edits or do these things are the ones that are stalking Jungkook or hurting him. But this is not entirely true. The ones that sit at home and make edits all day are likely not going out and doing anything bad. They're just sitting at home on their computer. They'd be too busy making edits and fake narratives to go out and actually stalk Jungkook. So it's nothing really to be worried about. And a lot of these types of fantasy play exists in the fandom. It doesn't even have to come from someone who is obsessed with Jungkook, but maybe just someone who is bored and has a more boring life. Because if you're doing a lot and very busy, you don't have time to do this stuff. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.